Gainesville City Council members have a big decision ahead of them, where and how to spend millions on a new public pool. The council has a few options, but one group's already barking back to keep one location undeveloped. NBC 15's Dana Bruick is here to explain. Dana? Well, John and Lee, that's right. One man's organized an online petition in hopes of letting a park that's gone to the dogs stay that way. Drop the boy. Now that's a good place to exercise a dog. Tom Edwards, his dog Boo, and pal Skip <laughs> hope others agree this is a place to play catch. Give it a good throw. Not a place for a public pool. I will tell you that this parking lot will not be sufficient. So they need to, there needs to be parking. All the infrastructure needs to be prepared. And sooner or later, this pristine location will be gone. Edward says this dog exercise area at Palmer Park on the city's east side is popular with people and their canine companions all year long. You could come here and there's two dogs here, but 15 minutes later you could come here and there's 20 dogs here. That's why we love the park. And it's wide open for everybody. But he says possible plans for a new public pool threaten this open space. Edwards has organized an online petition against a pool at Palmer Park. He says he already has about 80 signatures five days into the effort from people like Michelle Scott. They've already got a nice pool started over at Rockport, and they could just add on to it over there. Well, there's three options on the table. Steve Schaefer is Janesville's city manager. He says the city can repair its existing pools. Palmer Park already has a wading pool. The city's main pool is at Rockport Park on the west side. The second option would be to upgrade the pool at Rockport Pool by putting in some amenities, slides, and things like that. Uh, the third option would be to build a brand new pool at Palmer Park on the east side of the city. Schaefer says Palmer's more than 160 acres still would leave room for a dog park, but Edwards and others still hope to catch a break. The entire community, it is a great green space. We'd hate to lose it. We really would. Supporters of the dog park also worry about noise from the nearby highway, making it difficult for lifeguards to hear and to protect children. The city council will hold a study session in December, then public hearings next year before making a decision. Thank you, Dana. Wisconsin drops out of the top ten.